Oh, today's Bush Tucker trial is right as custom. Well, that's right, our celebrity has to eat a handful of creepy crawlies. I oh. didn't fancy that much. Oh, you can see them all wriggling. Oh, oh. right. Here goes. Mad maps, man. <laughs> Scotland's a total mad shape, isn't it? But... Aye, because like, England's like a body, right? And then, then Scotland's a big heat. <laughs> <laughs> big bad jaggy heat, man. <laughs> yeah, look at that, look. Like, is a place called Tongue? <laughs> big stupid tongue sticking at the top of the heat, like that. <laughs> Imagine you drove up there and it was just a big tongue waiting on you. <laughs> Licking you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're standing there soaking like that. That's bogging, man. <laughs> Here, the Isle of Rum. <laughs> rum, man. Bet you it's full of shops that just sell rum, everybody drinks some. Bet they're all keys up there. Here, get some of your rum, man. Shut up, you've got your own rum. <laughs> <laughs> you mad rummy. Oh, egg, man. <laughs> <laughs> bet you, right, bet you that's just a big egg, man. <laughs> <laughs> big brown egg like that, going, eat me, eat me. <laughs> <laughs> then you fly in with a plane and totally cut the lid off it with a wing. <laughs> then you get a big loaf and just dip it in the yolk. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come up from the mad yolk. <sighs> <laughs> then the big chicken that belongs to the egg turns up and it's totally beeling, man. It's like that, man. Ah, bag you bastards, look what you've done to my egg. Say I get one, me. I'll get you egg. Here your egg. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. I just bought this country cottage for £80,000 on eBay. <laughs> Bastard! Today, this magnificent Scottish Parliament building is completed. It is an architectural masterpiece, a source of great national pride, and I'm sure the Scottish public will flock to it in the thousands and agree it is money well spent. I smell shite. Now, this isn't your father's speak and spell. The little pal is 100 times more powerful. It has progressive memory, and the learning capability of a 10-year-old. I would go as far to say that it's not even a child's toy at all. It's a friend. It's an equal. We're gonna be ready to roll these out for next Christmas. <laughs> okay, that's uh, five minutes to lunch. Let's make him say dirty words. <laughs> Rim me, pull back. <laughs> Suck my balls. <laughs> Don't burn. <laughs> Show us your titties. Mad roasting. You roast. Put a lot of water right under my tits here. Murder. Soaking. Hi, guys. You okay? Good. Uh, you know, it's fairly straightforward for you, isn't it, Janet? You know. Yes, I'm just nodding and agreeing. Yeah, yeah, because your husband has all the dialogue. That's right, that's what you're doing, just nodding and agreeing. I've got all the dialogue. I'm the dialogue king, that's right. It's, uh, all, it's all about debt. I know, I know everything. Uh, what's your name? Eh, uh, Ronald Villiers. I'm with Whittacombe and Pump. 
as a cat. That's okay. Um, the thing is, this advert, you know, I want it loose, nice and loose. Basically, Lagoon Finance have come in, and they've bought up all your debt. Lagoon Finance. And life's fantastic. I'm just relaxed. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Are you, um, what's with the hat and coat? That's my thing. That's me. I'm known for it. Hat and coat. They said you could wear anything you wanted to. Yeah, but you're indoors. Could we maybe lose the hat? No. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Ready to go? Yes. Mr. Big Shot Director. Well, to everybody, you know me. <laughs> right, eh? I don't know what I'm doing. Heaven's fine. Up to your boys and date, all that. <clears throat> and action. Eh, we were eh, spiralling out of control with debt, um, largely due to this article here. <laughs> you know what? She was spending it faster than I could make it. Credit cards, you know, boof, boof, Martin Spencers. Until that was, I got a pair of scissors and cut them on half. That's her pure wee gamble lady, you gold digging bastard. Okay. <laughs> um, that. It's, it's, the advert's not really about blame, you know. Uh, it's you know more to do with yes. the fact that Lagoon Finance have come in and rescued you from That's some right. spiraling yeah, I'm debts. I'm not an idiot. I know that. I was, I, know. I was trying to give the audience at home a wee bit of backstory, drama, if you like. Okay. You just, know, we've got four other couples to film this afternoon. We don't really need any backstory, okay? Fine and dandy. Right. Ready? Your best here. Oh, sorry, I'm my bike now. Oh, it's so kind of... And action. We were in terrible, 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 terrible debt. Uh, and then Lagoon Finance waded in. What a mess it was, but they sorted it out by consolidating all our wee toty debts into one manageable debt. Personally, I don't see the force of getting rid of a load of wee debts just to get one big hoorie of debt. I just use switch. That way, at the end of the month, you know exactly where you are. Cut. <laughs> Look, come on, that was smashing. Oh, do, do you know his dialogue? Yes. Right, do. you take the dialogue, right? right? You you sit, you nod, yes. and you agree, OK? Yes, yes. Right. Seen this coming. <laughs> Chuff we'll say, I. Ooh, I'm the big shot now, eh? And I'm the tit. <laughs> nod and agree. Action. We were in mountains of debt. It really was getting on top of us. Then, with one phone call to Lagoon Finance, they sorted out all their debts into one easily affordable monthly payment. It really was so simple with Lagoon Finance. Calm down, dear. Calm down, dear. It's only a commercial. <laughs> Smashing into replace with a, with a, with a cushion. <laughs> Twenty pounds for Auntie Sadie. That's lovely. Freezing up. Yeah, I know. So usually what you've got to do is you've got to follow the wires back to the individual bits of kit, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That for instance the wire to your keyboard but the light's on so that's fine. And your mouse is working so that's okay. Aye, aye. Do you know what it might be your um, your modem? Oh really? Yeah. <clears throat> is it on the back here? I just put it on the corner. Right. See what you need at the very least is that 56k modem. Right. Whereas that's a pan loaf. <laughs> Come on, princess. You used to have been sleep ages ago. Let's get you tucked up. Yeah, me magazine, eh? What were things like when you were a wee lassie? Well, for a start, we had no polyphonic ringtones in my day. We just had normal ringtones. So that went when your phone rang, it went beep 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 And there was no such thing as predictive text either. Just ordinary text. That was back in the days when Robbie Williams there. He was in a band called Take That. Aye. We used to go up to dancing to a thing called a rave. Totally danced all done, man. Rave on. It was in this big mad tent in the middle of a field. That's where I met John. 
this one time, Polis came right, raided the place, chucked us all out. John was totally dehydrated, so they took him away in an ambulance. But I ended up taking a maddy and jumped him in the back of the ambulance because I wanted my face to be the first thing he saw when he came to. Ah, oh, night night, Granny. <laughs> Here's you, Samuel. The Splendor Lux washer dryer. I know the Splendor Lux flies at the door, Sally. It's the wife's best friend, Fat Sam. Ooh, ten minutes sitting on the spin cycle, and it'll be wham bam. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> want no warranty? No, no, I don't want one. Those warranties are a con. Oh, a con, Samuel L. Jackson. Do we look like con men, Jacko? Do we look like we're wearing a robber's mask, Michael Jacko? Do I spy a robber's mask and swag bag or or near Alan? No swag bag on me, Michael Jacko. Pale faced chimps for mates. No warranty. Thanks. Sure. Chimp generally chimp chin chin. <laughs> we know where you live, monkey boy. Address is right here on the screen. Got a kid? Got a dog? Are they safe? Can you warrant it? Dogs get stabbed. Look, I can't afford the warranty, right? Fair dues. Enjoy your washer, sir. <laughs> oh, my! Merry Christmas, family guy! Are you sure you know what in the warranty? <laughs> This bike off of eBay. Fantastic. Bastard! <laughs> Did you take it? Yeah, I did. And? And, uh... Oh, my. <laughs> Certainly standing to attention, aren't you? <laughs> Mind you, looks a wee bit angry. How many did you take? Five. John, how are you doing? Hey, Martin. What are you up to? Uh, I'm working on here. I thought you were with the police pipe band. Aye, aye, aye. Still with the pipe band, aye. But we're not gigging all the time, you know, so... Mm. And they got me in here, you know. Store detect. Here, hold on. That bastard's lifted something. <laughs> Shut up, after! Shut up, after! Are you ready for another one, Bill? Don't mind if I do. He's at home with us. Who's that? Keep going. Down. Hold on. There we are. Oh. Cheers. Cheers, fella. <laughs> Lonely, horny, call Naughty and Adets now. Pick a gorgeous skinny babe, then choose a super sensual neddy option like I'm caked in orange and up for all sorts. <laughs> Listen in while I twang my scrunchie. My track is raiding up my back crack. I'm fast and loose and picking my oops. And for the foot fetishists, check my spanking white night gutties. Call right now, because there's a slutty, half-cut, naughty neddy just dying to talk to you on a knocked-off mobile phone. And there is your change, madam. It's been a pleasure serving you. You have a fine day. Do call again now. What was all that pish about? <sighs> I got a tip off. Management's sending in a mystery shopper to keep us on our toes. A mystery shopper? A plant. It could be anybody, you know, so keep that smile slapped on your face if you know what's good for you. So do you think he's been in yet? <laughs> That's the thing, it could be anybody, you know, so just keep the edgy. Oh, Gary, the joys of the Hugmanay Donner. What could be more bounteous of banter than a saunter doing sucking? 
I have the bucket. <gasps> the tinker's tonic. Oh, the claret of the clatty. The swally of the scally. The nectar of the Ned. The wine. He's a charge. I'm on first slug. Well, I'm on first efties, and I'll have none of your floaters. <laughs> I have to warn you, old chum, there's every chance that I might just pure down this in a whanny. Oh, get the lid ripped off it. Oh, Gary, avail yourself a whiff of the banterous bouquet. Oh, the aroma of a rami. The odour of disorder. The hum of the slum. A square go encapsulated in a bottle. Well worth the fiver. Absolutely. Cappuccino. <laughs> you read my mind. Ah! <laughs> Please remember to keep your PIN number and your credit card separate. Who's it for? Bank of Scotland. Just a word, All right, man. Do you do Walkman's, man? Walkman's, man. Tenor, man. Do you play this, man? No, that's a disc, man, man. You need the disc, man, man. The disc, man, man? Aye, for playing your disc, man. <laughs> what is that, disc, man? Anchorman, man. Anchorman's a movie, man. You need a DVD, man. Oh, man. Nay, Walkman, nay, disc, man, man. <laughs> Much for a DVD, man, man. Ton, man. Ton, man. You're a highwayman, man. <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to do for you, man. And that is the process which is known as cellular mitosis. Uh... Lee Gaudi, for goodness sake, pay attention. Unless, of course, you'd rather spend the rest of your life working it up. Fish barn. No, miss, I'm going to university. Oh, really? <laughs> I find it hard to imagine that any half-decent university would entertain the likes of a dafty like you. But she can't call me that. That's not politically correct. Poli... Poli... You! Poli... Uh, I... Now, hear this. I will not be lectured to by a half-wit. Miss, you can't call us half-wits anymore. We have to be encouraged. Enco... Enco... En... I... I... I would encourage you to come to school in a skirt that doesn't make you look like a person of ill repute. And as for you, Graham Young, you can speak to me about half weeks and such when you learn to grow a proper moustache. Yes. How did you grow yours? Right, that is enough. Oh. <laughs> Seen that last in a canteen. They <laughs> <laughs> yeah. me the other day. Beef stew. I says yes. If you put some of your gravy on it, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm up yesterday for my pudding. She's like two dumplings. I went, oh, delightful, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> well, you know it was curry yesterday. Yeah. Like, I'll take some mango chutney. And uh, gives a wee bit of your nan there. So <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, pie, pie, give me your pie, give me your pie, oh, pie, stop. <laughs> Track there on this fine, fine crisp Sunday morning. Back in a moment for more tunes. The Verity Clinic invites you to join us for our annual seminar at the Hilton Hotel this coming Sunday. Our consultants are on hand to discuss with you any treatment you so desire. We specialise in facial hair removal, liposuction, Botox, and buttock lifts. <laughs> the Verity Clinic. Discover the new you. Are you a big, fat, baldy, pop-bellied, shipless, boss-eyed bastard? It's simple. You give me 400 quid, or you're going to find out why they call me the Butcher. Is there a problem here? Hi, big man. This guy here wants 400 pound a month protection money. Protection money? See if somebody did a word with your mom about protection before she could shot her cell away around the back of the chippy to all the boys. We wouldn't be stunning here right now. Who can he scare the butcher? I'm not trying to scare you, but I'll stick this copy of Heat magazine up for doing your neck. You'll be picking Peter Andre's wedding photos out your starfish. <laughs> well, get on my way. No danger, big man. Don't call me big man. Call me the butcher. How? Because I'm going to butcher your boss. <laughs> Thanks, big man. I don't know what to do without you. No bother. But you're going to need protection for these assholes. Six hundred a week, do you? 
Not a problem, big man. <laughs> Jimmy. If you need a pee, then go for a pee. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, ladies! <laughs> Hello there. You'd be forgiven for thinking we were having a duel at dawn, but of course we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, we are not, Roddy. We're here to tell you the important part that these swords played in the history of the clan MacIsaac. Indeed they did, Alistair. Indeed they did. Now, in 1327, Hector MacIsaac and William Calder fought to the death in a duel with these very weapons, Calder being the victor. Yes, and believe it or not, all for the princely sum of a sack of barley. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't say I blame them, Rory. You can get a lot of fine, fine malt whiskey out of a sack of barley. Indeed you can, Alistair. And you know, the ill feeling between the families lasted for over four generations. Until one fateful day in 1427, when their great, great, great grandsons met up again for another famous clan duel. And as they stared at each other with steely eyes, it was then that we first heard out of the now famous clan motto. The crow flies low over the cornfield. Well, the scarecrow is covered in frost. When will the harvest be? Tomorrow. Face forward. Don't look at me. Sorry, Jackal. Do you have the money? It's in the case. Put the case next to mine. Now, lift my case. Your business partner will gaze at the moon for the last time tonight. Thank you, Jackal. Walk away. Oh! No way, man! Hey, Jackal, man, how you doing, Jackal, my baby? <laughs> There's the jackal! Eh? The jackal, man! This guy done my wife in for me, man! What a job on a sweet, quick, clean, beautiful oh, man! Oh, the jackal! What are you doing, my man? Here, go to take my brother in! He's a dobber! <laughs> Here, baby, take a photo of me and the jackal. Don't worry, worry. Don't worry. 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 No photos, please. Oh, come on. You get it? You get jackal, it? Look at his face, he's raging, him, man! man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's the Jackal. Oh, how are you, Jackal, eh? The Betty, look, that's him. I never forget a face. Mine when my Harry, eh, got killed there. Accidentally fawned down the stairs and broke his neck. I've got the Jackal to thank for that, so I have... <laughs> Where to, pal? Christ, you never know them, innit? Hell, the jackal there. How are you, fella? My supervisor was giving me a hard time till the jackal steps in. <laughs> jackal! I think I've lifted my own case. What am I like? <laughs> for this fish. <laughs> OK, boys. Your grandpa wants to say something to you before he... I'm sorry. Hello, my, my lovely grandchildren, my family. I've had a good life. But I want to give you a gift. A gift for everybody. For Susie. It's the silver service salad. <laughs> for Stuart. 
Особенно чайная с Испанией, особенно я сомневаюсь. Это сам массовщик Шелен Шандер. Это сингл... Это сингл сорвайвен сэмпл от Сауф Селкерк Синкрест. Я думаю, это мне. What do you think? It's not really me, is it? Recently, chess has enjoyed a massive resurgence in popularity thanks largely to these two men. Anatoly Ivanova has penned over 40 books on the subject, including his most recent, Attacking the King. Gary Kasparov has hailed him the last of the true masters. Dmitry Mazanov has just defeated IBM's deep blue chess program in just seven games. He certainly earned his reputation as the bad boy of chess. Gentlemen, thank you both very much for coming along this evening. No danger. Quality, man. <laughs> Tell me, gentlemen, are you looking forward to your contest at the Grosvenor Hotel next week? Aye, man, it's going to be magic, man. <laughs> man I'm, I'm chess daft, man. Oh, I think about chess, man. It's chess, 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 chess. My head's full of it, man. I dream about chess and shite, no? I beg your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> chess, you dick! <laughs> chess, man! You can't even play drafts! Beat it, you fanny! My mum's got a lino like that in her kitchen! Geese <laughs> <laughs> <Kings> are gobble! <laughs> so I've opened the door, <laughs> and who's standing there? Archie! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> You like that one, eh? Oh. That's a crying ass to Well, here. Mrs. Parson at 2 o'clock. Mrs. Parson? Oh, you want to see her? She's put the beef on. She's like, say there, who's? She's always too late. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try and get off early, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've got a match, you know? <laughs> 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 you two are just spitting me, aren't you? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You been drinking? A couple of drinks, that's all. Oh, well, you don't mind taking a wee sobriety test. Right then, would you sleep with my colleague here? Cough him. <laughs> <laughs>